humility, discipline, life mentor, leadership, passion, pursuit of excellence. These seven traits illuminated the life of Coach John Reed. Now, these seven principles are the hallmarks of the yearly recipient of the award that bears his name. The first thing that really came to mind when I won the award was the word humble. Um, it was a very humbling award. And when you walk down the halls of WSN and you see the names that, of some of the coaches that have earned this award in the past, um, you, you understand that you're standing amongst some pretty uh, high men of integrity. After I won the award, I, I've noticed that it's actually wanted me to um, walk a little closer in my faith and, and really lead my team even more. This year, Dan Allison takes his place among leaders of character and godliness as the latest recipient of the John Reed Leadership Award. Dan, I just congratulations and I just pray this year um, that it really pushes you to be a, a stronger coach than what you were before, um, a stronger leader than what you were before, and, and certainly be active in your faith. Congrats. You know, one of the really cool things as I welcome you back to the Sports Report is that every year it seems that as we uh, announce the John Reed Leadership Award winner, that the previous coach kind of passes the baton in a way to the coach who receives the award. And we see Andy Schaefer uh, able to do that and kind of pass that on. But I uh, want to take this opportunity now on behalf of the John Reed uh, Leadership uh, Group to present you, Dan Allison, with the 2019 John Reed Leadership Award. Congratulations. Thanks, Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, Mark Shine, you had uh, a hand in nominating Dan for the award. Uh, talk about some of the things that uh, in inspired you to nominate Dan for the award this year. Well, it's been my pleasure to be a part of this committee ever since the thing began, and it all comes back to those characteristics that you had at the beginning and, and how it affects each individual coach. And Dan's coached for 30 plus years. He's been very instrumental in FCA here in Allen County and our, our entire eight county region that we deal with, and at Wapak High School in particular. He's coached at several different places, colleges, and in high school, most recently at Shawnee, the last past couple of years as our defensive coordinator. And he's just that type of person. He's quiet, he's understated, his faith walks with him every day. He's a great asset to our community, to Wapak and to now Shawnee. At the, risk, at the risk of talking about Dan while he's here in the room, but uh, what, do you see some similarities between the, the award winners every year? Like, do you, do you see some, uh, apart from the seven traits that we talk about, do you see some more kind of common threads, similarities in, in the characters and the attitudes well, and the leadership of everyone who's been nominated and won? Patrick, when John Reeb was alive, I was on a speaking group with him one night, and he, he said, How, what did you tell the people at Coldwater to get this job? And he said, I told the school board, I will love your sons like they were my own. Now, how many football coaches say that? And I think every single guy that we have handed this award to, that's how they treat their team. They love their young men. Certainly, they work them hard, and they, they challenge them to be the best football players they can be, but they love each and every one of them, and they ask them to give back later on, and Dan represents that very well. You know, talking with Andy Schaefer, and he mentioned that the names that now he is a part of and now you are a part of are some pretty large names in terms of coaches in Northwest Ohio. We have guys, you know, along with Andy, John Zerby, Tim Goodwin, Mike Reams, and others who have been instrumental not just in success on the football field, but also uh, just success spiritually, just being good, godly men and godly leaders. Yeah, how does it feel that now that you are a part of that fraternity? Well, you know, see, it's very special, especially with Coach Reed. I'm an old coach, so I got a chance to spend some time with him at clinics and different things. I got to see him in action in games, in playoffs at Wapakoneta and that. And, uh, you know, you get to, get to see him and how he carried himself, how he interacted with other coaches, with his players and that. So to be with him first is something very special. And then second, you know, as far as uh, the other coaches, you know, a lot of them are still very active. And I think that's encouraging. And they're not just active with their teams, but they're active in their community too. And uh, Chris Summers is another one over at Spencerville. And uh, it's just fun to see him. We, we were really concerned a number of years ago, I happened to be around for a while, that we get young coaches in. And it's just been great to see how God's brought all these young coaches into the area. And just to see their faith and how they use Matt Dudex, another one down at Kenton, mm -hmm. and does a great job down there. And, uh, you know, there's just a lot of guys in the area who are good, strong Christians who are coaching. And they are just doing an outstanding job with the, with the youth in our area. What does it mean to you that now that you have had guys that you've looked up to 
guys that you've uh, hoped to emulate past winners of the award. What does it mean to you now that there will be coaches that come along next year, two, three, five, ten years from now, that will look up to you as an example now? Well, that's what you hope for. When you're coaching, you hope that you be able to influence other people. And I think even young coaches. So, you know, you get a chance with them. And that's something we talked about as a committee, that we really want to take the past winners and we want to go and we want to start to mentor young coaches in our area. So I think that's something you're going to see from all of us. We all talked about it, and that's something that we're going to go and do now. Dan Allison, our John Reed Leadership Award winner. Dan, thank you so much for being here, and congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Mark, thank you for being here as well. Thank you for helping out and for your time with the committee and uh, picking out these great It's my pleasure to have a chance to honor men like Dan. It's my pleasure.